my final project I have chosen Bruno's best friend so I went with a mood board um, for Bruno's best friend I based it off of my pet warehouses logo which um, I know because I have pets myself I liked the colors and the animated um, illustrated feel to it um, uh, instead of the yellow I went with an orange because um, orange represents joy warmth fun um, and then I went with blue um, instead of black because I find black a bit star and blue represents like trust and loyalty um, and open spaces which um, kind of like for a dog because they're going walking uh, to keep it modern I went with geometric shapes because sometimes navy blue is a heritage color it can go a bit um, traditional uh, so yeah and then went on with the component library so here you can see the typography I've chosen is Ubuntu and then I went with um, those colors that I was just speaking back about and some geometric shapes down the bottom for the logo I went with a white and dark blue because they're quite versatile and can be used across many different backgrounds for the UI flow um, I base it off of the wireframes that were provided so you have a badass book a walker become a walker and um, help and then it goes on and the only thing I did miss was the loading state or blank state which um, I iterated in the next UI flow as you can see here so I've added the loading slash blank state um, just after like search and login and it can be applied throughout the um, designs so then I went on to do a mid fidelity prototype um, and I adjusted the connection flows as um, per the iterated UI flow I removed the login screen because uh, I actually did a mid fidelity prototype before I iterated the UI flow you know in line with the course so after I decided that it was um, a bit too many steps for the um, user so iterated took away the login screen just made a regular home page I added a menu so the user could easily navigate to the other um, four pages so as you can see down here about us book a walker book a walker and help so then I went on to some user testing and I asked three people to participate I asked them to do what they would regularly do with a website on a phone I synthesized their feedback and I categorized all the data and I used an affinity mapping system to synthesize and narrow down the key issues. So the main ones were menu function was hard to find. Um, they wondered why the images were illustrated, not like real life images. And the bottom icons, um, the navigation to like where they would go wasn't clear. So from this, I iterated and based on the feedback I made a couple of amendments so I added in a navigation bar at the top with clear um, titles as to where it would take you this also um, helped with the last point I just got rid of all these little icons and just made it super clear with titles second one was um, I removed the illustration but kept the border and then and replace the illustration with a real life photograph because it I learned that people want to see the actual faces of who's going to be taking their dogs rather than a cute little image so I'm going to take you to the um, high fidelity prototype so here we are as you can see you can click on any of these um, I'm going to go find a walker so I'll put my postcode in, I'll select the date that I want the walker, I'll put a time, so it says 7am. I want to see if walkers, these walkers uh, can be booking, like their booking can be recurred. So I'll search and there are three walkers in my area. So it looks like I've already used Meg because the love heart is orange. And if I click on her, it'll take me to her profile. So you can see Meg is there, all of her bio and everything down and uh, I want to book in Meg so I'll do it the same again because she's available for this date and I want the dog for walk to be 30 minutes and I have one dog and booking occurred and I will book now so I've booked it I'll go back um, scroll down you can see them all there I can see all the walkers I can see featured walkers 
Um, I'll show you Aerostate if I go down here. Uh, Aerostate, um, Mark has Aerostate, um, so that will come up whenever a link is broken. And then Joseph has the loading state. Thank you for looking at my high fidelity prototype. End.